Marketing is a key component of any business strategy, and this is especially true for small businesses that don't have the name recognition of major brands and products to fall back on. Marketing departments everywhere continue to rely on the four P's of marketing, and small businesses should make sure to do the same, so that they connect with customers and their companies and products are able to compete in the marketplace. So here's the rundown of marketing's four P's and how to apply them to your small business. of marketing are product, price, place, and promotion, and they all relate back to positioning yourself effectively to grab the attention of the target market that you're after. You have to know who your target market is, where your target market is, and what they value before you can effectively use the four P's to access them. Product is about everything related to how customers see the product itself, its quality, features, packaging, branding, etc. You need to produce a product that your target customers will want to buy. If you sell computers, for example, do they have the right amount of RAM, the right processing speeds for your customers? A 65-year-old grandmother that just wants to be able to email pictures of her grandkids isn't looking for the same features as someone who uses the computer for graphic design, movie editing, or software development. While you may target more than one group at the same time, you need to be cognizant that the product or products you offer are what the customer will want. Don't open a computer store catering to grandmas and sell only souped up, top of the line computers with a thousand bells and whistles. Price is pretty self-explanatory. How much do you charge the customer for what you sell? But it also includes things like volume discounts, coupons, promotions, and payment terms. Again, your pricing needs to make sense for your customer base and will play a role in your brand's reputation. Do you want to be a premium brand or to target middle or low income customers? Some customers flock to different brands because of their premium status. A Toyota with all of the extras really is a Lexus, but people will still buy a Lexus itself because it's a higher status brand and they feel differently about driving around with the Lexus symbol on the car for all to see than with the Toyota symbol. Therefore, you need to be deliberate with your pricing decisions to protect your brand, but you also need to be realistic and competitive. How is your product priced in the market compared to your competitors? If you go too low, people will question your quality. If you go too high, people won't see any value. How are your margins? You don't want to get greedy and charge way too much, but you can't cut your margins so slim that you need to do massive volumes to make any money. Remember, price is about value. You have to prove the value of your product versus others at whatever price point you choose. Place is about where and how customers buy your product. You need to understand place so that you make sure you're accessing the right distribution channels. If 99% of the people that buy Widget X want to do so online, a seller of Widget X probably should not open up a bricks and mortar storefront. But let's say your product is sold in stores. You have to get deeper than that. What type of stores make the most sense? Where in the store should the product be located? Where on the shelf should the product be located? Where do your competitors sell and how can you position your product more effectively to beat them? Every aspect of product placement matters, and again, it can affect your brand dramatically. Selling at Whole Foods provides your brand with a different cachet than selling from a vending machine. And finally, promotion is about what people generally think of as marketing and sales. It's the advertising, direct marketing, and public relations that get your brand in front of customers. Are you going to pay for an ad on television, or are you going to focus on social media marketing? Big multinationals have seemingly endless budgets to promote across all channels all the time, but as a small business owner, it's even more important for you to know where your target customers are and when they're there, so that you can develop a low-cost yet effective promotion strategy. Do some research to figure out the best way to reach your target audience, and then be sure to track the return on investment of any promotions that you use. The four P's of marketing truly lay the groundwork for making sure that your company and its products make it into your customers' hands. They'll all interact with one another to form a full picture of your brand that your customer sees. So be careful not to overlook any of them or you'll be jeopardizing the success of your company. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Remember to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to this channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials to help your small business grow, as well as the latest entrepreneurship news that affects your company. Mm -hmm.